What is going on, everybody? Welcome and thanks for joining us for another episode of On the Pipe Podcast. I'm your host, as always, Tyler Shepherdson, and tonight we got a pretty fun episode coming at you. It's a little bit out of the ordinary because I sat down and chatted with a group of people that are definitely a little bit out of the ordinary. Um, they are some of the top dirt bike riders in the world accompanied by their coach that has been coaching them along the way to success and helping them reach their physical and mental goals so we sit and talk about that a little bit but this group of guys they are riding bicycles from morganton north carolina they're leaving from trevor bollinger's house and they're riding all the way down to florida in the next week so we sit down and talk to them about that 739 miles in total and it is going to be rockstar energy factory husk varnas thad duvall trevor bollinger and craig delong accompanied by phoenix racing hondas jonathan johnson and brody johnson and then we also got fxr backed and max motorsports and husk varna backed evan smith he's joining them for the ride as well and their coach jacob fetty from hi-fi coaching he's also got at the Hi-Fi Coaching Podcast. So before they leave out on their trip tomorrow morning, which will be Tuesday morning, I was able to sit down with them Monday night at Trevor's house in Morganton, and we kind of talk over everything and really just get a better understanding of what it is that they're looking to accomplish and how they are going to do that. So a pretty fun episode. We did it on Facebook Live as well. So the video version is up on the OTP Facebook page. You can check that out. And also, if you like this episode and want to hear more, give us a follow at On The Pipe Podcast and also give all those guys a follow as well because they will be posting updates throughout the rest of their trip. But, uh, yep, if you're listening to this, it's the audio version. And, as always, you can find these wherever you get your podcast or on the pipepodcast.com. Tomorrow, we got a big show lined up for OTP Tuesday. So, we're going double duty, doing shows two nights this week, um, and maybe even one after that. But, uh, keep an eye out. Look out for that OTP Tuesday, as always. And, if you like this, share it with a friend and subscribe. Wherever you're listening to this at, whether it's Apple Podcasts, or if you're on YouTube or Stitcher, wherever you're at, please go ahead and just hit subscribe to the show. Maybe leave a review. Um, yeah, that stuff goes a long way in helping us out. So if you like the podcast, it means a lot to have your support. It means a lot to have everybody listening. So if you could subscribe to us, follow us on social media. And then also, real quick, just want to give a big thanks to Armored Graphics for always helping us out. And without further delay, let's get right into it. Ten seconds! Is this where the damn drumming and the music kicks in? Yeah. I'm 
I'm from this <laughs> normal, but I just saw that. Like he really did. Mm. He, he just clicked on the video and then it had to be He We clicked on it on Evan's phone. Yeah, dude. Yeah. Look, I click on the little dots and there's no... No, just swipe that down. If you no, guys can figure out how to share it, you share it. Gotta hit the share button. I think it says share. share. Was the share? I'm gonna tell you right Wait, now. Where did I right now, this phone? If I we can't share, share this, this, there ain't no way we're getting to Florida. <laughs> I'm gonna tell you, like, we are screwed. I mean, so that that like, not we're gonna have to just swift our way to Florida. <laughs> you, were, you were there. That was, that <laughs> no, I looked at it. Yeah, it, it did not. It did not say share. No, I didn't even do that. Oh, we're gonna get these questions. Has everybody done 100 miles here? I've never done it. I've never done it. Really? Wait, have miles. you really never done 100 miles? Swear to God. What's the longest you've been? Like 60. 30. <laughs> <laughs> like 60. That was actually one of the questions, yeah, but then when we were sitting there talking earlier, crazy. you guys like, you guys were oh, you did 100 miles the other day at the house. So I just assumed everyone mm -hmm. did it. Everybody's done except for Greg. I did 55 the other day. <laughs> <laughs> I'm ready. I'm only done, what, I've only done over 60 a couple times. Well, you tomorrow know. is only 98, so Craig, you're going to have to keep going past and then come back to get your 100. <laughs> yeah, I was actually we'll wondering about that. I feel like it's going to be a disappointing day under 100. Well, when you do that 130 day, you let me know what you think they're yeah. pumping. <laughs> <laughs> I'm fine with that. <laughs> so, like, 130, how long do you think? Eight hours? Four. Four hours? Four no. hours? <laughs> 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 But by then, I mean, are we are we recording the podcast now? Yeah, we're just we just rolled right into it. No, like, hey, thanks for being here, guys. Just I like, heard it's really blurry. <laughs> well, <laughs> we were in the middle of Edmonton, and we don't have good service. So. Middle of the no, so for the one thirty, I mean, it depends on the wind. It depends on. Yeah. There's not gonna be much elevation because at that point, I think we're going from. Macon to Albany or something somewhere. So yeah. I mean, I think we'll be rolling it 2023 for the day. I can't do that kind of math to figure out what yeah. 130 divided by 20 miles an hour is. That's so like more than six, a couple hours. That's yeah. Six and a little more. Yeah, if we could. Wow. So right now, the way that everything is split up, it's basically you guys are going off of mileage and not time on the bike for this trip. Yeah. We're going by where's the food and where's the hotel. <laughs> yeah, but it's mostly by miles for this purposes. But like when we do training, training, like it's more, it's more time and intensity. But we just kind of changed it up a little bit because. So technically, yeah. whose idea was this? How did this get started? Who gets blamed for this? Yeah, I don't know. I remember we were talking about it over text one night. Wait, how long, long ago, the first time this was mentioned, how long ago was that? Probably after the first ride, right? No, no, no. the first ride... Was the practice ride. See, the reason... Okay, so first, the reason you guys are here is because oh, we did the first so ride. <laughs> no, really. So we, we did the first ride, and we got to the end of the road. Who's we? They Me and Trevor. We can we did the three, the, the three day that you guys did. Yeah. yeah. Where did that go to and from? It started here, went somewhere, and came back. <laughs> 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 we went from here to Black Mountain mm -hmm. to Mount Mitchell, so Spruce Pines, Pines, that romantic little chalet we had. <laughs> and back here. And then back here, yeah. Back um, we got to the end of the road. Trevor doesn't talk a lot, and he also doesn't like my jokes. So we were like three miles down the road, and he's like, dude, you talk too much. Like, when we're, 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 we're going to do this next ride, like, we need more people. And we spent three days riding 50 feet apart, not talking. So we figured we better have some more people come. Yeah. <laughs> he's got his headphones, and he's just going. Yeah. yeah. That's, that's not too far from the truth, is it? It's not too far. <laughs> we probably made the plan, or talked about it for the first time, like, before I started walking. <laughs> that long ago? You're two? Yeah, yeah. How old are you now? <laughs> no, I think, I think we started talking when you went to see Dr. Lavner and you stopped by Charleston and we talked. Yeah, I think we started talking. To start training, yeah. yeah, we started talking about doing something. So and then. May? Yeah, May. And then somewhere shortly thereafter, it was like, you know, let's do something just crazy, mm. crazy hard. And, and looking at it as a standpoint of what these guys do, 
is is or what they're asked to do is pretty crazy. Like they never get an off season. Like that's one of my biggest like I don't want to say frustrations because I don't want it to be like negative. But it's like y'all finish what November, yeah. and then you start racing like three days later for the next season. Mm-hmm. And so we kind of looked at you know we started packaging up the trip or, or the the off season. It's like wow, you actually get an off season. That would be really cool. Um, um, in that conversation, he kept trying me to get me to do backpacking trips. Yeah, and I remember. Mm-hmm. I was like, I am way too delicate to be sleeping on the ground. Yeah. Like, <laughs> I'm fragile. And so we just kind of hatched this plan to be like, okay, well, like, let's do a big block to get in some aerobic capacity. You know, let's take some time to like spend some time at some lower heart rate. Timmy's 140. <laughs> and uh, and I think it just kind of kind of hashed from there to try to make it really. Um, something that, that was really hard and also had meaning and purpose, right? So we came up with 739. I immediately said, like, fuck, dude, your your earned number was five last year. Why would we just pick that number? We could be done, right? Um, so, yeah, that too. I mean, yeah. that, you guys can just head straight to Tampa, try to get 989 in. We'll get that one next year. Yeah. yeah. I wish you were on Brody's number, man. That, we'd be done. We'd just get all done in one day and be done. But I think that's the general. Does that sound about right? Yeah, that sounds about right. Just yeah. came up with something like really crazy to do. Um, yeah, and, and I think too, like when, when you're an athlete, explain, like you're so focused all the time on training, training, training. Like sometimes you just need a fresh scenery, yeah. right? And it was just like and a new let's, challenge, a new challenge. And I think that's the thing. Like and Trevor kind of touched up on that in his in his post, like letting the world know about this. It's like it's been seven months since you've raced, you yeah. know, and like not just racing, but seven months since you've taken on like a really hard challenge. Because, like, training's hard. Like, I mean, I push these guys, but it's not, it's not this hard. You're not getting this far over your skis. Like, you're you're training, but you're sleeping in your bed. Like, it's just time to, like, reboot, you know, do something different. So, yeah, try to meet some girls along the way or something, you know. <laughs> meet somebody. <laughs> so, I went from you two going on a practice ride, and now, I guess, since we're 10 minutes in, we can do the introductions now. But we got Trevor Bollinger, we got Thad Duvall, we got Evan Smith, we got Jonathan Johnson, we got Craig DeLong, we got Brody Johnson. And then the man with the plan, the brains behind the operation, uh, Jacob Fetty. How did how did everything go from you two playing this out? Like, how did everyone get added to this? Like, how did everyone get broken? Because he doesn't want to talk to me for seven days. <laughs> That's why. <laughs> so was it just like send out a, a text to everyone? Like, hey, we're doing this. If anybody else is crazy and wants to do it too, come on. Or, I mean, pretty much. So I mean, you guys are both coming off or like rehabbing knees yeah, too yeah. right now. So well, I, Jacob, I, Jacob kind of trains everybody, so it's yeah. kind of like he asked. Asked them and then Jacob said, Hey, you want to do a 700 mile ride? And I'm like, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. He blocked sure, my number. Like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 Couldn't find nobody else stupid enough. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But no, like, you know, Jacob trains all of us, and, um, you know, me, Craig, and Timmy, and even Evan, we ride, um, ride for Timmy for Custom Arna, and he's pretty involved, and, you know, he wanted us to challenge ourselves. Not so much physically, but more mentally, I feel like, just to kind of get us back up to where we need to be. And, yeah, this was definitely the starting point for sure. Yeah, I mean, like you mentioned, this is definitely going to take all of you guys out of your comfort zone. Because yeah. you're, you're sleeping in different places. You have that destination in mind to even get to a bed. Mm-hmm. I mean, because you guys got hotels lined up already, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. So now you got that end point for each day to, to be able to get to that hotel. And now we got the, the Hi-Fi coaching crew pedaling from North Carolina to Florida. <laughs> so, and I mean, you guys, like you said, rehabbing knee injuries, so you're kind of working back and coming back from that, but, and you as well, Evan, you're rehabbing it and coming back from an injury as well, but I mean, as far as like, Craig, you raced yesterday, and then Jonathan and Brody, you guys are, I mean, Brody, you're in the hunt for, well, not in the hunt, you're pretty damn far ahead in, in top amateur. So, I mean, you guys are in the middle of the season right now. Does that have any effect or is that something you think about when you're going into a ride like this? Is that you're still racing for the rest of the year? Uh, we was told to do it. Yeah, pretty much. And not really. really. There's, a, there's a pretty big gap, I guess, close to a month or so until the next GNGC. So I think we should have enough time to have a pretty good recovery from it. And I think it'll definitely help out on the – on the fitness and mental side of things for yeah. the, morning, the last part of the year. We were going to go earlier, but we had to wait on these guys to get done racing before. Yeah. That's right. Yeah, but yeah. the good thing they're about them, they're keeping it racing, so they're in good shape. So <laughs> yeah. they, they can pull. 
Yeah, we got a leg injury. Oh, now the right <laughs> These guys have pedaling way more than I have. The other day I was joking, I said the youngest the youngest ones have to pull the most or whatever. Yeah. Look, you see right here, they're going to be, be pulling a bunch this week. I didn't do a recovery ride yet. I'm, I'm in the back one. <laughs> <laughs> So how are you guys? How are you guys deciding that? How are you breaking up? Who's in the front throughout the rod? Strong is still in the front. <laughs> <laughs> Rock paper scissors. Yeah, you're just volunteered the, the whole way, 730 miles. No, I mean the, those things take care of themselves. You know, like we'll probably give Craig a little bit of a, like wiggle room to kind of like work the enduro out and kind of ride into the rod a little bit. And like, you know, like with that, like you know, this isn't to be disparaging, but like you're you're he's. I guess closer removed from like knee injury. So we'll kind of fade into that a little bit. You know, like that's typically like we did a training camp last year, like he was crushing us. We don't know what we don't know what, you know, Concador has over that, there. Dude. You know, so like give just give everybody have a, their chance to sort of work into the ride except for Trevor. Like Trevor's going to the front thirty miles an hour from the word go. He's ready. <laughs> but uh, no, it'll all take care of itself. Because the goal is like there still is a physiological gain that we want to achieve. Um, so people ride about 20 minutes at the front at their aerobic threshold, then they'll go back and eat snacks and goof off, and um, then we just kind of cycle through and get back to the get back to the front again. Um, Makes yeah. it sound easy. Yep, no big deal. Yeah. So <laughs> 20, minutes, 20, minutes. 20 minutes every hour. Yeah, yeah. That. <laughs> yeah rinse and repeat. And so leaving out tomorrow morning. What have you guys, I mean, have you guys done anything specific to train for this besides eat El Porto Mexican food the night before? <laughs> yeah. I mean, has this been a, a build-up to this point, or just jumping on a bike and hoping for the best? I think everybody had a pretty good idea, like, I mean, what all we need to do, or... Pretty good morning. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? A warning. <laughs> had, yeah. you know, a couple of months, to, like, even Craig was like, man, I can't believe the ride's actually here. It's come pretty fast, but, I mean, I think we've all kind of knew what was coming and kind of prepare a little bit and got ready and um, I think Evan's probably the most ready out of all of us. Oh uh, yeah. I mean personally I've been watching a lot of tour highlights. <laughs> <laughs> you know how to put your hands up, yeah. right? <laughs> I mean this, this dude just went halfway across America is cycling every day for what, two weeks? Yeah, three weeks. Three weeks. weeks. So it's like he's the most ready for sure and that's probably why he's only pulling the most. <laughs> I knew where he was going with that. I'm tired from that trip. I'm going to need at least six days to recover. Okay. Well, we've got six recovery days coming up from here in Florida. <laughs> so, I don't think we need how heavy the bikes were going to be. Yeah. I think that would be, be a difference just for never riding with the bags or anything like that. Yeah, we're all pretty upset about that. <laughs> I think we lifted each other's bikes and like we did like six laps. <laughs> So who's got the lightest and who's got the heaviest? Jacob's got the heaviest bike. <laughs> <laughs> I think mine's the lightest. Jonathan's the lightest for sure. Yeah. But he didn't bring any clothes or food. No. Or anything. <laughs> <laughs> so, so I saw it. So I guess the, yeah. that's like another big thing is just like what what do you pack for? We're yeah we're staying in hotels but we have no chase vehicle, like nothing. So it's just like you have to pack everything for seven days like. Everything you're gonna be living in, food for all day, waters, like it's just a lot to pack in. I think it was a little bit more than what I thought for sure, just to be comfortable with. So I mean, that's a question right there. I mean, obviously, I'm, I'm sure there's someone out there that could drive a chase vehicle and kind of act as support or even a pack mule or something and follow you guys all down. Where was that decision made between going down and, and just roughing it? Or that's Trevor. Yeah. I think. I mean. <laughs> It's like having training wheels if you have a chase vehicle, I feel like. Because then if something happens, you can back out or, you know what I mean? It's like... Yeah, when, when you're talking about mental strength, then we get you half, know that you got to bail out. Yeah, yeah we, we get half, out, we so get halfway through That's part of the fun. Or start turning around. If you turn around, you're going the same distance as you were yeah. way down. Yeah. 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 I never Personally, thought about not that, actually. Me. That's a good point. You're, you're yeah. going. You're, you got to go. I'm basically home. I'm good. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Except Evan. Evan can drop off go to the house. So, I mean, as far as going through and doing it, I mean, you mentioned, and I know it's halfway a joke, just aiming for foods in hotels, but how much food are you guys taking and packing with you, like energy gels, things like that? What are you doing for nutrition on the bike versus what you're going to be getting out on the road? 
This is more of a Jacob question. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I can tell you how you know, what you need to eat every second of the day. Uh, I mean, we're everybody's starting the day with, you know, a day to two, probably two days worth of like ride food. But we're not going to eat just ride food for seven days. So, you know, there will be stops at gas stations or this or that to, like, refuel to get food to get water. He's like, three gas stations. Yeah, like, <laughs> Godfather's <laughs> Pizza. From, <laughs> yeah, go to Sheets. But, um, so, oh, we're going to Florida. We got Wawa. Yeah. Woo! <laughs> you got so excited all of a sudden. <laughs> so, no, we will stop and, 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 and refuel. But also what you have to figure is, like, we're taking, it's not like we're going down the interstate. Hopefully, we're not. Hopefully, I'm out <laughs> better than that, right? So it's like you just never know how long the gaps are going to be between stops, and because of the heat or the environmental conditions, the heat, humidity, everything, like you know, it may be 50, 60 miles between places to stop and get water. So we are carrying enough stuff where if we don't see a place to stop, we you know we're self sufficient to a degree, uh, but we will stop and get water, we will stop and get food, things like that. But the idea though is like or one of the ideas is. To actually train, like we don't want to stop every 15 miles, like we want to get there, right? So we're taking probably two days worth of food to start, ride food to start with, um, and then just kind of start picking up along the way too. A lot of gas stations, as you saw with Evan's excitement, do have some things that are pretty decent to grab in your jersey pocket and keep riding with. So, um, but no, I mean the caloric demands are, are huge. I mean you're looking at yeah. three to four thousand, you know, calories you're going to need to consume a day while you're riding. Because we're out there long. Some of us will be out there longer than others, yeah, but, but, you're, <laughs> but I mean, you're looking at a long time out there, and we're not really going to stop for lunch. I mean, maybe on the one thirty day, like we'll stop and like eat at a restaurant, but more other than that, we're just going to keep rolling. So, yeah, like, just carry as much as you can. I know yeah. you talked about it briefly before, but I mean, a ballpark like tomorrow starting out at ninety eight miles, you got a day that's one hundred and thirty miles. What's the what's the time that you're expecting to be out there each day? Each day is a little different because of the topography, right? So, like, like the first day or the second day will have significant... I mean, shoot, like, probably 60 to 70% of, like, the elevation gain is going to happen in the first two days, yeah. right? And then after that, it gets much, much more flat. So, I think tomorrow we'll probably average, like, 30, 35 miles an hour and then just go up from there. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, did I say miles or kilometers an hour? I mean, <laughs> you know, and then we'll also what you have to keep in mind too when you're taking on a multi-day um, we'll call it an event like when you're taking on a multi-day event like any deficit that you create in that first couple of days you pay for exponentially so tomorrow is just rolling into the effort like we're not going to set the world on fire we'll probably average just depending on wind and, and terrain like 15 to 18 miles an hour i don't see us going any faster than 18 miles an hour overall average tomorrow um just to keep the intensity at, at a low state so, I mean, whatever that math works out to be, uh, of rolling time, right? So, uh, and then I think from there, as we get to flatter roads, hopefully pick up a tailwind here and there, like the speed will go up. But again, it's not necessarily like how fast we go. It's just, you know, getting from point A to point B at the correct intensity. So, so it's going to average probably like five to seven hours a day, five to eight hours a day. On the bike. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then hopefully get to the hotel in time and have some time to rest and yeah. get eat, some more calories in and eat some yeah. cheeseburger, and <laughs> chicken, <laughs> buy you a case of beer too. You know, yeah, I mean, yeah. totally fueled up. Sure. Uh, so I mean, what what's some of y'all's biggest concerns? Because I mean, I would have a ton of concerns, but I'm fat and out of shape, and I would never try this. But I mean, what's some of y'all's Concerned. The company. <laughs> besides, besides him talking to the whole time. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'd say definitely, like, Evan said my ass. Like, yeah. yeah. Rubbing the seat, like, because when I started back cycling, it was, it was pretty bad. Like, I was, <laughs> I was, I was, I was having, ideas, yeah, though. I was having to have Maggie, like, rub off the floor on my ass. <laughs> like, it was pretty bad for a while. But I'm pretty calloused up now, so. But just you're riding way more than what you you normally do in a week. I mean, it's crazy. You're riding almost double what you do normally in a week. So yeah. it's, it's halfway across the country. Yeah, it's a lot for sure. But um, I don't like my biggest concern for me is packing, hooking. I got everything. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah. Especially like for the few like your fuel yeah. and like, uh, 
hydration and stuff in the first couple of days, you don't want to put yourself in a big de deficit and not be able to be with how you, be how you need to be at the end. You don't need to use those big words that hurt your brain. <laughs> 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 I don't know how he sees out his belly. He's got a like <laughs> 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 Wait, so I, I gotta ask this question. Y'all know there's a freaking hurricane coming, right? <laughs> what? Yeah, really? Man, scared. <laughs> there's a what now? I didn't know about it until this morning. Maybe it'll push us down there. Yeah. Maybe <laughs> the headwind the whole way. You catch a tailwind. I said, hey, I said, hey, Jacob, are you watching yeah. the weather like anything? He's like, yeah, we'll be all right. I'm like, all right, <laughs> whatever. So that thing is supposed to be like in North and South Carolina tonight going in tomorrow, right? We're going to be out really? of South Carolina tomorrow. Yeah, we'll, we'll be in, in Georgia, Georgia by then. Yeah. Oh, so then you're a dog. Yeah, no, nothing to worry about. Yeah, we're yeah. Wait, Georgia's awesome. not 100 miles from here. <laughs> 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 but, I mean, what, what's the deal with that? Because I was actually, I was going through the weather app and just, like, kind of looking at places from here to Florida, kind of looking to, towards it, and it's pretty much everywhere in between here and there is rain every day at some point. Oh, we're going to get ponchos. Trash <laughs> <laughs> bags. They're cheaper. Yeah. So, I mean, are you guys Walmart, pedaling through the Walmart, rain, or is your, your daily schedule going to change up based off of that? It's just going to cool us down. Does anybody, did yeah. anybody for real like bring any like rain jacket? I, I said rain jacket, and Jacob's like, you're stupid, you make a rain jacket. <laughs> yeah, quote. <laughs> <I'm low. laughs> <laughs> All right. Whatever, okay. I brought a Ziploc bag, so I prepared. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like it. As long as my cell phone's good, we're fine. As hot as it's been, though, I'm sure you guys will probably be more wet if it was sunshine out than yeah, when exactly. it's raining. But I mean, in all seriousness, are you are you riding through the rain, pushing through it, or? We have to, man. We, we have a rental car in Fort Walton. We got to go get it. <laughs> <laughs> so that was the other thing too. How, that's explain how you guys are getting back. I guess you just throwing everything in a van and driving back, or? Uh, yeah, pretty much. Hopefully, <laughs> I'm gonna call tomorrow, and make sure it's actually there. But yeah, that's we have a van reserved and. Just get creative with packing, and if we have to leave Brody, that's the sacrifice I'm willing to make. <laughs> I, I mean, I'm turning around and riding back, but these guys, are, they decide to be enough. Yeah. Man. Uh, it, it sounds crazy, especially when you think about it, just North Carolina to Florida. It, it sounds crazy, and I think you guys are, I don't know. The level that every single one of everyone in here is at, as far as what you've done in racing and all that, and, and coaching and riding and all that, it's just, it's, it's kind of insane to the normal person to think about doing it, but it really seems like nobody's really worried about anything. You guys are all confident going into it. And I think a lot of that is probably credit to the training you've been doing. Oh, uh, there's a lot of false confidence here. <laughs> <laughs> but like, for me, it's just like, I know who I'm with, I know like what they're capable of, so it's not like... Yeah, yeah we're all endurance athletes, yeah, so, so it's not like... Like, it's like we kind of like this stuff, so. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. If we didn't, we wouldn't be doing what we did, so. Yeah, well, yeah, when, when we rolled out, when Trevor and I rolled out on that, that three-day tour, kind of like Gilligan's Island, right? Like, uh, he said, well, what would you say, I've never not made it. Never not made it, no. Yeah, I was like, well... Or I wouldn't be here. Yeah, I was like, well, that's, that's a pretty good attitude. <laughs> never not made it. I hope it didn't kill me. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, so this can't be the time. Yeah. So, I, does anybody have a signal? I don't know if anybody has questions on Facebook, but I can't see anything. I hardly have any. Well, so what's, I know Dylan was asking about the, the TSS. It's top secret. What's the TSS? Is that the one you asked me to dinner? Yeah. yeah so he, he said it would be about 2000 that won't be that high. Not that I mean, first, like, like, first off, you have to like. What is a TSS? Can I? So ask TSS. You? Um, <laughs> okay, I, it's, I gotta be careful not to go on the brain here. But like, TSS is it stands for Training Stress Score. You arrive at that by you know based on duration and intensity. With that is a lot of assumption and a lot of bias math. So TSS, like a lot of people attach like an absolute value to it. It's not quite that clear. Um, it can, however, be. You know, a, a decent way of just sort of keeping track of your workload. So I think what Dylan's asking is like trying to put it in analytical terms of like, well, how much work are you guys actually going to do? Um, and uh, and then one caveat is TSS is 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 based off in that intensity and that duration is going to be based off like your lactate threshold. So work you're doing in, in like relation to like your, your lactate threshold, um, cliff notes version of all that. 
So he's saying it's going to be a 2000 TSS day, or we, no, I don't think it'll be that high because we're not going to ride that hard. Um, we're going to be out there for a while. I would anticipate that given that we're in a group and we'll be doing like 20 minute pulls, you know, we'll probably, most days will probably cap out at like 250, 260 TSS days, which is still a significant workload. Um, maybe a 300 day here and there when Craig gets on fire and starts really, really pulling us. Um, <laughs> but, you know, it's, it's, out. but the idea is, <laughs> is to really keep the, like, the intensity in check, right? Yeah. So you can do that math, you know, 250 times seven, that, that, that really gets you in the ballpark. So um, it will be a significant workload. Um, but I think what's, you know, a greater indication of that workload though is like how many kilojoules of work you're doing per day. So like if a guy's doing a lot more pulling, and then we have some guys doing a lot more setting in. <laughs> they're not going to be doing as much as much work, but so uh, the overall kilojoules of work that you'll do a day will probably be thirty five hundred to four thousand kilojoules times seven days. So yeah. So burning all of that throughout a week, and right now aiming at the seven day mark. What's recovery going to be like? How, how long do you think it's going to take your bodies to recover? And what are you guys going to do for recovery? No, you guys are probably going to come back and ride some more bikes. I guarantee you Trevor's around. not going to have a recovery because he's going to be released to ride, what, five days? A week after. Yeah, five days after we I'll get probably out. take it pretty easy for the first week, I imagine, after yeah. the ride, and then I'll start back out. Yeah, so, like, everybody's different, right? Like, so, like, we really designed this, so, like, we this would be the last push of, like the initial design of this was like, this is Trevor's last like base period. He takes a break, gets cleared to, to get back on the dirt bike. And then he goes into an intensity period um, to get back to the GNCC. Um, Craig will go home and take a longer break because he's been racing. Yep. Um, and you know, he'll have probably at least a week off and then like a week of just easy pedaling to, to follow that. Um, or else we just see. We just we just watch the metrics and see when they're ready to go again. You know what makes sense for him. Um, Brody. Not to, I mean I pick on Brody a lot, but this isn't to pick on Brody. But just because he's so young and has never taken on anything like this, you have to be a little bit more cautious before you get back at it again. So you, it's all individual. It's not factory farming or anything like that. It's very just you just watch the metrics and see when they're ready to go again. Um, so yeah, we'll see. We'll see. So, I don't know how to keep that well I do. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I just make it all up on the spot. You guys <laughs> never know a different. <laughs> now I'm convinced. <laughs> so, Craig, you mentioned the sole one out of the group that hasn't done 100 miles in a day so far. Now you're looking at seven days of 100 miles. What's, what's your thoughts going into it? Cause, I mean, you've also been racing. Like I mentioned, you raced yesterday, and now you're jumping on a bike tomorrow. Yeah, I mean, I'm a little bit nervous, but like I said, there's wasn't seven other people here. It'd be, you know, a lot worse. So yeah, I'm excited. A little nervous. <laughs> a man of many words. <laughs> <laughs> I got a question for everybody. How? Uh, what's the longest solo ride in the, Like in our life or recently? No, no. Like, well, you're you're experienced. Yeah. <laughs> 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 So, five miles, ten miles? I don't know. Not long. 20, 30 miles, probably? Probably, yeah. Probably, yeah, like 40. 40. probably 20, 30, 20. Evan, you just been on a whole excursion. Yeah, Evan. <laughs> I, I did like 70 by myself like a week or two ago. Is that gravel or road? Gravel. Yeah. Well, like 50 50. I did one, I think it was 2018, I did an 85 by myself. Yeah, yeah. that's more me. That's a lot. Like that's it's not fun. By 70 itself. or 72, I think it was. Oh, by man. Myself. It was cold in Austin and Bryce back down when so I just went back so. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Yeah, it's going to be a lot better with seven people. Yeah. Or eight people total. I, or, I don't know. I, can't <laughs> yeah. I, think, it's, I think it's six other people. It well, gives me a little confidence, too, because like, most of my riding I do by myself. So when you have uh, all these guys, it, you can break it up. and like, You're not sitting there fighting wind the whole time. Right? So, <laughs> And see, so I've, oh, I've never <laughs> rode a bike before, so I've, uh, I've never, like, gone out. Hey, I've, I rode once, like, I think it was, like, 13 miles. That's the only time I've ever ridden a road uh -huh. bike, and I rode it to my friend's house and drove it back to my house. 
But <laughs> how much of a difference does it make to be able to draft and like hold Lindsay Hunt? Oh, yeah. Yeah. It's like, huge. They say percent. it's like forty percent to have a hunt, right? It's a lot. I mean, yeah. it's hard Does that keep going up per person back, or is it pretty much the second person in line is the same yeah, as the fifth person in line? When you're back a little bit further, you get a little bit more, sure. You know, like third wheel, fourth wheel gets a little bit more, but it does it does diminish at some point. Yeah. I feel like like decent pace on a normal road is probably, what, like 10 or 15 feet, like heart rate? No, it just so depends on a lot. That's, that's what I feel like I usually am behind somebody. See, this would have been nice if Ben wouldn't have been a sissy. Oh, he is so tall and lengthy. Dude. Like, he's, he's easy to drag behind. Front. Like, in Florida, yeah, yeah, so like in Florida, if I'm behind him, like, I barely have to pedal. Yeah, it's crazy. He's breaking a whole bunch of ways. Yeah, so it's, and it just, like, sucks back in, and, like, I can get close enough where I'm, like, just barely pedal and it makes him so mad so mad because like my wheel has like the so all he hears is me back there not pedal <laughs> mad but he was too big of a sissy to come so yeah I'm very disappointed I, I expected Ben to be yeah, we, would have, we would have had an even amount of people there. Yeah. yeah he's a lot smarter than us yeah. he's not be <laughs> was there anybody else that was on the the bubble about coming that didn't <clears throat> Or are we single out Ben? We Paul try to get right Timmy now? to come. Too. Yeah, we try to get Timmy to come. Mike Delosa. Yeah. He didn't come. Would like be. Alex Patterson, he was going to come, but bring his femur. Like, mm. He was all about it. Like, super into it, but man. Russell Bale. He'll ride two days with us. Yeah. Doesn't count. Doesn't count. Now it's not to work if, like, if somebody sees our route, can they just jump in with us for like a day? Or I, I feel like that's a group decision. Yeah. Have you guys seen Forrest Gump? By all means. <laughs> that's how it started. It's like I know a couple people have messaged me and like, hey, I've seen your route. Like, you're going by. Like, by all hey, means, please hey, jump yeah, in. But yeah, they pull. Yeah, yeah, yeah if they can pull. <laughs> if they can yeah. pull and not give me COVID, they're good. <laughs> if you're only doing one or two days, they need to be out front pulling. Yeah. yeah. Half a day. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I don't care. I'll, I'll take whatever I can get. Yeah. Yeah. So, as far as that, too, I'm sure you don't just put in Google Maps here, Dustin, Florida, let's go. What if Why? you. What? Why would <laughs> I do that? We're going 75, 75 for miles, man. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what, what happened to you to, to map it out and, and plan your route? I don't. I'll leave it up to these two because I bug them with. Jacob the found some app. I don't know how. Ride GPS. <laughs> yeah, and he sees the smash yeah. every single day. Okay. Is there one Jared? Five a day. Exactly. Did like, Jared be in Mexico? Japan? Well, he was going to. He went to Europe. He just loves it. Just maps yeah. all over. Dream yeah. maps. Yeah. yeah. Florida. It's like, oh, we should go do this ride now. Like looking at it, and it's like eighty miles, and it's like fifteen thousand feet of climbing, and I'm like, no. It's kind of like Google Maps for your bike, yeah. essentially. Yeah. Um, and it's going to be interesting because, like, as we were talking at dinner, like, sometimes it doesn't differentiate between gravel. It definitely differentiates between interstate and like mm-hmm. two lane, yeah. but like, not always. It doesn't do a great job of like this is a busy two lane, this is a gravel road. So, you know, tomorrow, yeah, it's mapped out to be ninety eight. It might be one hundred ninety eight by the time we get there. So yeah. Tomorrow we'll be not promising. No, yeah, we'll be able to grab it all the way. We're yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, well, he he sent us pictures of like riding down creeks and yeah. shit. Like, <laughs> that's got to be his favorite thing. He, and he you look it. at his bike, his bike's brand new and it's like covered Gosh. in mud and missing parts already. <laughs> <laughs> just just got to get rowdy, man. Dude. <laughs> <laughs> so how much, how much bike parts are you guys bringing besides like tubes? Nothing. Nothing. We solved the pump situation. <laughs> Yeah. I got some stickers. Yeah, we took it out. <laughs> we took it out. <laughs> Just pump your tires up real good and hope they hold. Um, I think we have like multi tools, like things to do light repairs. I think it, um, we have a spare derailleur hanger for some of the bikes. Um, tire. I think, does somebody bring a tire? Yeah, he's got a tire. Yeah. Is everyone two of us or? No. Yeah. I am. Yeah. Repair the tire. Oh, a tire. I thought I was thinking wheel on stupid. <laughs> I'm gonna put it on top of my helmet. <laughs> Are you tubeless? Yeah. Are you tubeless? Mm-hmm. Make that slow mo. Makes down too much. Yeah. One thing I did out. think yeah. about that I didn't bring it was a bottle of sealant. Might have been a good idea. I have some. Do you? Mm-hmm. Brody can carry it. 
Sweet. John carries it. <laughs> yeah, from here on out, John carries anything new. Oh, see that thing? It ain't got no more holders on it. Holders. No more holders. Slap out a holder. It's so light. Yeah, you got nothing in it. That's the best bike ever. It's a giant, dude. Trevor had that thing before him. He was, he was shaving parts and making that thing lighter. Yeah, you sit on the inside of the it. It's got a little motor in there. A little motor in there. My phone won't load. Was there any comments or people asking questions on that? I don't think any comments. I, 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 I didn't see any questions. No. Did you get your permission slip? Yeah. Gotcha. <laughs> you can't go until my mom and dad sign off on that permission slip. I'm not responsible for you. Might get lost up there. Uh, I don't have any service, man. Brody's not even going to be able to get into the strip clubs. <laughs> <laughs> Say you're the DD. Yeah, <laughs> that always works. You need to get fake ID. He's like in that car. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he's pulling his home in the boat. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's what he's got his trailer for. Yeah. yeah. How long? Oh, we'll just perfect the infamous pass back. You'll be fine. <laughs> hook, hook the rope up. Someone should have just got just three tandem bicycles. I'm trying to talk about this. Road too <laughs> <laughs> I brought that up. I was like, that let's get a tandem. And he goes, y'all just sit on the back and you can pedal. I was like, that doesn't sound like a good deal for me at all. Dude, that tandem with matching Speedos. <laughs> a recumbent tandem. That'd be sick. You'd have a crowd on the side of the street. We have something. Dude, next back. year we'll do this. We're going to build a seven seat tandem bike. Are you kidding? By the time we get to easily tomorrow, we'll be so sick of each other. It's not going to be a next year. This might not even be a Wednesday. <laughs> I'm you know stop in Landrum halfway. I'm so sick of you guys. I'm taking a different route. I'll see you there. <laughs> Dang, haven't even got through the first one talking about next year. <laughs> I haven't even started. We haven't even finished a day yet. <laughs> <laughs> we'll do a smaller number next year. Yeah. Yeah. yeah we're not doing nine nine one or nine eight nine or anything like that. I think it's definitely not going to be our numbers because we ain't going to be top ten. I think, <laughs> we should, uh, I think we should add all our numbers together and chase that. Uh, <laughs> and what feet? Inches. Inches. Apparently, all that's the ride I can get more behind. To do than me. <laughs> Well, speaking of that, I guess it's getting close to 10 o'clock. You guys got a long week ahead of you. Kicks off in the morning. Any uh, any last final closing thoughts out here? Any predictions? Anybody have any predictions? Who's going to have the first come apart? <laughs> you realize this is audio and they don't see you raise a hand? When is that like a bike time. issue or is that when like someone falls off the bike? Yeah, what are we doing about that? What? <laughs> what? We're going as fast as the slowest man or are you, you're, you're slow? You're, what if I you're crap right? fall off the back? It entirely depends on my mood at the moment. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh somebody's getting loud. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to do Brody like we did before. Yeah, we, yeah. Yeah, I think there are some. Let's give some tips. I was yo-yoing around. He was uh, on no, the phone. The tip <laughs> is stay off your dang phone. Oh, you remember that day, Brody? Oh, yeah. We had too many of them. I, 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 I could never hang on. You remember that one, don't you? Yeah, we left him. <laughs> <laughs> we didn't just leave him. We were like, Jacob's like, let's go, let's go. We left him for like 20 miles. I went a long way one day. <laughs> and then and then we hid. We hid behind some sign or something, just watching him go. <laughs> 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 Probably going by cussing, you know. He was he Snapchat or what? I remember. Yeah, he, he was, was on Tinder, just swiping on. Yeah. Trying so. <laughs> to figure out somebody's gonna come get me. I guess on a bike, you're going slow through towns. You can probably get a good bit of the Tinder matches throughout the town before you make it all the way through. Not if he's leading you, right? <laughs> He'll look back there and see you scrolling, and he'll take off. <laughs> Gotta stay off that phone, man. We're here to pedal. That's when you're watching freaking Netflix one. Yeah, I got my friend that I ain't trying to get angry. Okay. <laughs> Sitting in the back, letting the boys pull. <laughs> I'm gonna sneak a strap on and see, uh... What? 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 <laughs> 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 That's why I was worried about his butt being sore earlier. Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> I was waiting for somebody to say that. <laughs> I like how Jacob was like. This dog is awesome. How old are you again? I'm 12. <laughs> <laughs> I booked one bedroom. <laughs> yeah, well, three of us. <laughs> Trevor and I have water beds the whole way down. Yeah. Lava oh. lamps, black lights. <laughs> Dad's also going to need a replacement for Maggie with the, with the aquaphor on the butt. <laughs> I already thought Maggie was going to spike it. Yeah, get in there deep, boy. <laughs> Hey, what are teammates for, man? Get me lathered up for <laughs> Well, I wish you guys all the luck, although luck is a relative term. I don't think you guys need luck. I think you guys are all prepared, and I think you guys are all some of the mentally strongest people on the earth doing what you guys all do. So um, it's going to be a hell of a week, and hope maybe at some point I can give you guys a quick call. We'll get an update and figure out what's going on. But, yeah, it's going to be a... A fun week for you guys. <laughs> There's gonna be a lot less laughing during that phone call. Yeah. <laughs> Next question. Jacob won't be shut. <laughs> I swear to God, if you make that joke, I brought like I have. That's actually joke books in the back of that bag. That's all I brought. Yeah. I'm gonna read to you guys. Yeah, that's gonna be great. Dad jokes. Dad jokes. And, yeah. There you go. Hey, dad jokes will always get you through whatever you need to get through. I learned that at the sprints. <laughs> but, yeah, thanks each and every single one of you guys, all up in the world going forward. Uh, for everybody listening, following along, make sure you check all of them out. I'm sure you guys will be posting some updates and, and at least taking some pictures or videos somewhere along the way. Maybe not during the rides, but somewhere. I want to see some of these food stops. I've heard a lot about the, the places that you have planned. So. Yeah, Cali and Tito's will go on Instagram. <laughs> for sure. Good deal. Well, thank you guys all for your time. And uh, thanks everybody for listening. And I guess that's uh, that'll do it. Thank you, Mike.